Hey boys, this video goes out to my guy Tom who asked what does my airliner setup look like because that's what he's into. So I get it. We're all we all like different things, different tastes. This is it boys. This is it. Triple screen, one screen, two screen, three. Huge. My beautiful seat that I hand stuffed with more foam because I have a bony ass. My controller and this custom made panel that I made with two pop-out windows which is the death of flight simulator frames per second but I figured it out I figured out how to do it and I would like to show you so if you have any interest down below boys let me know and I will describe how I built it anyways this is it this is my setup I hope it helps you and inspires you there's my beautiful PC down there so there we go Alright boys, here we go. Listen, I've dreaded making this video, but it's about time. Sim Update 11 is right around the corner, and I haven't made any videos because I've been having trouble, and I've warned about this in my videos. I'll be on top of the world, getting 50 frames per second in a triple screen, and then one day, BAM! Nothing! So, it's been that time. It's been BAM time for me. What I mean is, I've been getting 20 frames per second. At one point, I was getting 9. I downloaded the new NVIDIA driver, driver 525.46 and it screwed me up. Stick around after and you will see all of the details. I'm back on 522 uh, and I'm actually not on the game driver, I'm on the studio driver. Anyways, long story short, one of you asked, actually it's Tom, Tom asked to show a triple setup um, on my in my rig and here it is in a big jet. So here we are. Airbus A320. My apologies, my apologies. There we go. That that looks more authentic. So, here by popular demand, Airbus A320 in a massive 4K triple screen. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I have so much to tell you. So, frames per second. We are now looking at 34. You can't really see it. It's extremely, extremely small, but it's right there. 34 frames per second. Not bad. Uh, I've done better before. This is a small airport in upstate New York, Binghamton, and we're headed to Elmira. But yeah, let's uh, let's get going. Let me show you. And again, stick around after, and you will see all of my settings. You'll see the flight simulator settings as well as my NVIDIA settings. With that said, boys, let's do it and do it so good. All right, throttle in. Make sure the flaps are down. Brakes off. And there she rolls. By the way, to be clear, I need to put you guys on this new NVIDIA. I apologize. This new Navigraph and, and everything. Navigraph has released VFR charts. Everything is available. Everything is available. All right, we have V1 and let's rotate. Rotation station. All right, we have positive rate. Let's go gear up. All right, gears up. All right, gear up and confirmed. There we go. She's good. And let's settle this puppy around. So yeah, boys, here we are. I'm getting a smooth 39 to 40 frames per second, so not so bad. I'm not complaining. Oh, look at that airport. That looks amazing. So I'm not complaining. Things have gotten a lot better, uh, but I used to get almost 50 frames per second. Uh, again, I'll show you my settings in-game. Slow down the video, pause it, and see what, what it does for you. But my goodness, this is amazing. There's that airport we took off from. This is what I, I can't get enough of, man. This triple screen on 4K setup is incredible. Just to make you aware, the GoPro is stretching the image a little bit because it's in wide, super wide view. When I turn my head, that is straight to the side, which means I have more than 180 degrees. I can see all the way to there. And same thing here. This is straight sideways for me, and there's a good foot of image that I have on the other side. So anyways, with that said, a couple things. 
check out all my settings I feel like I'm getting pretty good settings uh, I hope that sim update 11 will just further improve this but no promise uh, I want you to get a hold of this Navigraph uh, it now has VFR charts and that's super super cool so yeah I hope this is helpful to some of you again Nvidia driver mess me up sim update 11 is coming and Navigraph is here. Navigraph is here. So get you some. All right, let's try to put this puppy down. What do you say? Oh, by the way, this is my new setup. I should have mentioned that. I have to make a video. I made a brand new little freaking console panel over here, and I want to show you what's what's actually happening because I, as you can see, I'm uh, popping out two windows, and I'm still getting very good frame rate. We're at 43 FPS right now. I need to explain this to you guys. This is not being run. This touch screen right here is not being run by my graphics card. It's being run by my CPU. I will make a video of this soon enough, but if you're super interested, please let me know and I'll, I'll rush it. Rush it to market, as they say. So with that said, boys, let's put this puppy down. All right, here we go, NVIDIA control panel. Just remember, if you want to see something in detail, pause the video and or scroll back and you'll see it. I'm not gonna go through all of them, you know, the only thing I can tell you is everything has a hint towards performance. Uh, I will give up a little bit of quality for performance because I am, again, running 4K screens, three of them. And so the GPU is, is, is screaming as it is. Uh, everything is biased towards performance, as you can see, ambient occlusion, performance, uh, on and on, high performance on texture fil filtering. So, you know, power management, maximum performance. That's the key takeaway. So again, I will scroll slowly and you guys can pause it and try to match these settings if you wish. And here we go, GeForce Experience. This is where I'm having a problem and I've told you guys this. As you can see, I am on the studio driver 522.30. That is also the game driver 522.30 from about a month ago. If I switch over to the game ready driver, we are already at 525. Uh, 0.46 something to that effect it is not working for me something did happen as I've explained so it's up to you you know listen uh, your mileage may vary as they say Tr I always recommend running the game driver but I obviously ran into an issue and that's what works for me right now I cannot wait for this to be fixed so with that said boys girls I love you I hope this helped you in some way and see you soon here we go. This is what I was explaining. When the game's starting, everything looks great. As soon as we start the loading screen, we're talking about 50 max, 60 max frames per second. Every so often, I'll get a couple hundred. It will jump. But in-game, I've clearly lost a couple frames per second. And in-game menu, another worrisome behavior. Only 54 frames per second. Now, this could be an optimization, so the game doesn't really use a lot of resources in menu, and that's fine, but this did not used to be the case. As soon as I jump in the map, here we go, boom. So, talk about in-game menu optimization, we're up to 86, 85. So, something is glitching, I don't know what it is, and uh, yeah, I'm saddened. Slowly. There's not much to talk about. This is what works for me. You know, as we know, every graphics card, every computer is different. So you'll get different results. Your mileage may vary. So the only thing that's different for me is uh, NVIDIA reflex load latency is on in boost. And I've reduced some of my other settings that, that work for me. And what I mean is a lot of them are on medium. I have some things on, on high. I do like my buildings, my airports to look correct, my terrain has to be correct so that's on high everything else is on medium and it seems to work um, I am on 4k so I'm reducing my texture so super sampling I mean I have a lot of pixels to push so I don't need to super sample too much uh, and everything else is low guys low or off you know depth of field motion blur those things are added for a single screen on a triple screen you get so much movement that you don't need any of that so with that said boys let me show you my triple screen setup I want to point this out and I hope you guys have noticed this anyone running a triple screen if you come back in the game you will see one window two window three window four window that's right I don't know why but it looks like I have five windows running that is incorrect every time I come in here I turn them off like this and then I add them again and once I do this everything's back to normal so just so you know my two side screens as I've always said are on 1440 2k 
I'm not pushing all those pixels and it seems to work. I cannot tell the difference between 4K and 2K at this scale. So anyways, boys, these are my settings. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. I'd love to answer them for you. Love you guys. Bye.